everyone this is karim today i am going to show you how to download and how to install power bi software in windows operating system the first process the, the downloading process we need to open the internet explorer or any explorer and type power bi desktop option in search button here you need to select the first option of the particular result this is official path or official page of microsoft power bi products you can click on this one then you need to select that language which language software you require choose that particular option then you can click on download button once you are clicking of the download button we will get some options it is 32 bit windows operating system software or you need 64 bit windows operating system version so here we have two options 32 bit options and 64 bit options so you can select in my system i have 64 bit operating system so i need power bi desktop 64 bit version someone having 32 bit bit uh, operating system you can select that particular option and download button you can click the download button it will navigate to downloading the particular software once the downloading process was completed this is the downloaded software it's having around 558 mb file you can double click on this particular software it's initiating that installation process double click on this one then it will show you one window here you need to select that language of the software whatever language of software you require you can click or select this one then you can click on next option here you can click on s button once that the back end process the because the back end whatever uh, the required the system configuration was required this all will verifying in back end once everything is fine it will show you the specific window here this is the second step of installation process you can need you need to select on next button this is the software license related terms and conditions you need to accept this terms and condition then you can click on the next button this is the this is the page the dedicated software need to install in the specific folder in default this is the path of particular folder when we need to change the specific software path we have option to change the specific path you can you want to install this particular path in d drive or where, wherever you want to uh, you you are expecting to install this one you can change the path then you can click on okay then you can click on next button after that this is the final recall you want to change any path you have option to go back and you can change your path whatever settings are required then you can click on the installation button the installation process will take the maximum 5 minutes or minimum 2 minutes for the 
entire file will install in your system. The installation process of Windows operating system is the same for all different kinds of versions. Suppose in my system I have Windows 10 operating system. So the process of installation for Windows 10 or Windows 11 are same. So there is no difference or there is no other step is included in that other version. It may be now I am using Windows 10 and Windows 11 in future another version of the version operating system will come in the, the all version the process was same. So once the installation process was completed it will show you the installation process was completed successfully. This is the completed that particular Power Bay desktop software in your system. I want to launch the particular software. It's correctly opening or not. You can click the checkbox. It will open that particular the Power Bay desktop page. You can click on that finish button. It will open the default view of the Power Bay desktop tool. The once you can click, you want to create the new Power BI file or Power BI report. You can click on this one. This is the default view of the Power BI desktop tool. We will discuss detailed discussion will 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 continue the what type of options available what type of pan, panels what type of options available in this tool we will discuss detailly in upcoming section thank you for watching it will be helpful for all for how to install and how to download the software in your Windows operating system. Thank you for